Let's open day 12. The Winter Journey. Day 12. The Winter Journey. At autumn's end, the wind blew colder and the last leaves fell from the trees. The crops were harvested and the feasting was over. For Pocahontas and her village, the time had come to travel to their winter camp. Pocahontas loved her home by the river, but she always looked forward to, the tr to this trip. The journey meant new adventures and a new place to explore. Best of all, many different villages from the Powhatan nation gathered at the winter camp to work together during the cold months. As they walked, Pocahontas stepped off the trail and bent down to examine the cold ground. She saw fresh tracks from a opossum, a family of deer, that even a bobcat. Some animals were still out and about in the winter. Moments later, snow began to fall. Pocahontas tipped her head back, enjoying the feeling of snow on her face. We are close, called Pocahontas's father, the chief of the Powhatan. Pocahontas village was the first to arrive at the campsite. They hurried to unpack and set up their winter home. Some villagers made shelters by trying to tying woven mats onto wooden frames. Others started fires for cooking and warmth. A group of hunters prepared to find food for the night's dinner. Pocahontas and some others set out to gather firewood. Let's bring back as much dry wood as we can before dark, said Pocahontas. Pocahontas strayed further from the camp to search for wood. She loved the quiet of the winter forest and the soft sound of the wind. Wait, she thought. What was that noise? Pocahontas put down her firewood and listened carefully. There it was again. It sounded like crying. She climbed the nearest tree, but couldn't see anything at first. Then she looked down and gasped. A little lost deer was wandering alone in the woods. He was too young to survive on his own and needed to get back to his mother quickly. Pocahontas climbed down from the tree. Her moccasins crunched softly on the snow. The fawn looked up and froze. Pocahontas held her hand out. It's all right, little one, she said. I'm here to help. Slowly, Pocahontas reached into her pouch and pulled out some berries. She held them flat on her palm so the breeze would carry the scent to the fawn. The little deer picked up his ears with interest and Pocahontas gently tossed the berries to him. The fawn happily ate his snack. Pocahontas crept around him until she could see the tracks in the snow. She had to take the fawn back the way he had come. She dropped a berry on his path, following the tracks a little further. She dropped more berries, and the fawn went hurrying after her. Soon they came to the bank of a creek. Scanning the icy mud at the water's edge, Pocahontas saw two sets of tracks. One belonged to the fawn, and the other, she thought, might belong to his mother. The mother's tracks continued on the opposite bank. Pocahontas, Pocahontas slightly ran across a path of rocks in the creek. Then she put a berry down on the far bank. The fawn walked closer and reached out her hoof, then pulled back. He was afraid of the rushing water. Patiently, Pocahontas piled more and more berries on the bank. The, thorn ga the fawn gazed at them hungrily. Finally, he charged right into the shallow creek. Splash! In a few bounds, he was across and splashing onto the bank. Dripping icy, icy water, he looked up at Pocahontas and shook himself happily. Pocahontas and the fawn followed his mother's trail to the edge of the clearing. Peering ahead, Pocahontas saw a doe pacing back and forth. Is that? she stared, started to ask. 
but the form was already galloping across the clearing to his mother. The family was together again. Poker hunters watched, smiling and peaceful. A branch snapped behind her. Poker hunters whirled round. There you are, Poker hunters' best friend Nakoma called her. You've been gone a while, so I came looking for you. Look, Poker hunters said, pointing. The little one was lost. How sweet, Nakoma said. But we should get back. It's almost dark. Poker hunters brightened. Has has anyone else arrived? Three more villagers. Probably more by now, replied Nakama. Poker hunters nodded. That's the beauty of winter. It brings us together. Back at the camp, people from many different Powhatan villages were gathered. Everyone seemed to be talking at once. There was so much to catch up on and so many stories to tell. Pocahontas snuggled under a blanket by a fire and listened. She was happy to be surrounded by the love and laughter of her family. Seasons changed and camps moved, but no matter where she rested her head, the land and the families Pocahontas found there always felt like home. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.